and welcome back to my channel if you are visiting for the first time or you are coming from other channels welcome my name is Antoinette I love all things home decor DIYs and entertaining for special events so I hope you will enjoy my content and I hope you will consider subscribing so in today's video I am co-hosting the entertaining for the holidays challenge with my beautiful friend Lisa here at Lisa Burningham and a bunch of creators to share all of our entertaining and partying ideas that it might be helpful and you can use for your own events now if you don't know who Lisa is she is a very talented lady I love her style and I always find her ideas helpful and inspiring so definitely check out her channel I will link that in my description box below make sure to check them out and watch all the videos for lots of inspiration as I said before, I love hosting special events and entertaining for the holidays. I deep clean my house one week before and on the day of my event, I will only clean what the guests see. Which means my entryway, I make sure it's clean, clutter free and organized. So when my guests arrive, they feel welcomed and have a spot for their shoes and their coats to hang so i keep this closet clean and organized as well with some extra hangers i also refresh the living room and clean the guest bathroom making sure to put set of clean towels and keep some extra paper toilet rolls somewhere that is easily accessible my favorite part of the holidays is setting the table and I always set it ahead of time or the night before the event. I like to mix my everyday plates with some special seasonal plates that I had. And of course, I like to bring out some glasses and some silverware. I like to keep things simple, beautiful, and of course, chic. Next thing I really like to do when I am entertaining for the holidays is setting a cocktail station. I like setting mine next to the coffee station and I have a plenty of drinks, a selection of wine, sprites, juice, water. I have an option for everyone. I like having a drink station with few different varieties ready with some delicious snacks and I like to make many different kinds of snacks so here I'm gonna share with you what I will make for one event. Many of you when they saw my entertaining uh, cheese tray that I posted on Instagram they asked if that the cheese was pumpkin so I'm gonna share with you how I made that cheese ball in a pumpkin shape i saw it on a pinterest years ago and i just customized it with my own favorite cheese now to make a pumpkin cheese ball i need one cup of shredded marble cheese one pack of philadelphia cream cheese any flavor would work perfect half a cup feta cheese one quarter teaspoon hot pepper and some black pepper half a cup onion chips half a cup chopped walnuts I combine all ingredients together very well then I placed it on a plastic wrap I wrap the plastic around it and firm it to a ball like this then I add some elastic bands around it and I press on the top. Then I put it in a fridge for overnight or at least for 4 hours. And then on the next day I unwrap it and place it on the board. And then I cut the stem of this green pepper to add it on the top. I can have it with only crackers like this or have it on a cheese platter 
I love making cheese boards. All my family and friends know me for this. They know that anytime I host an event or a party in my house that for sure I will have one of these boards or platters laid out for them. It's such a fun and creative way to showcase all the snacks we have in one big platter. It is really great fun to have everyone gathered around it, eat, chat and laugh. So the first thing I will do, I will pick up my board. Now I have different varieties of boards and I use all of them depending on how many guests I have. And you don't need to specifically have a cheese board to serve this. I love to use this ceramic serving platter with this stand as cheese board because it has a tiny lip or edges so if I carry it nothing falls off. Next thing I place my cheese and I am gonna put this pumpkin shaped one in the middle and I picked up three kinds of cheese you could pick up more I have here blue cheese, Havarti cheese and Grana Padona cheese. I normally don't go by any rules for cheese when it comes to cheese boards. I just pick what I know and what I like. Then I am adding meat and I have this turkey pepperoni sticks that I picked up from Costco. I just cut them in a half then in a half and place them on the plate. And here I have this hot mortadella. I cut in four and roll them like this. Some olives go here and these pickles here. And I have this pepper jelly goes great with cheese. Then I add some grapes and then I fill in with different varieties of crackers. At the end, I add some walnuts. And there is my finished cheese board ready for my guests to snack on. Then I have this tray here. It's my favorite one to use for fall. I love the shape of it and the color. I'm just gonna add some different varieties of nuts and dry fruit. I also decided to use this pumpkin for my dipping and after I washed it well, I cut it then I carve it and then I inserted this little ball in it then I added some hummus and place it on my tray then I added my veggies have these mini quesadillas that I freeze. I will just place them on my tray and put them in an the oven for a few minutes just before my guests arrive and serve them with guacamole. I made a video making these quesadillas. If you want to see how I made them, check out the video. I will link in the description box below. And for dessert, I made this basbusa with cream. I am so known for this one as well. All my friends and family love it. And I have a video showing how I made it. I hope you will check that video as well. I will leave the link in the description box below. I love getting together with my family and friends at the dinner table. Sharing a meal with them is most special part of the holidays. I do as much cooking before my guests arrive as possible. So I wash all my fruits and dry them and I wash all my vegetables and get them ready. I also love to set my table with a beautiful centerpiece 
and you cannot go wrong with this edible arrangement that will make my guests happy to look at. So for this dinner, I am serving the store-bought chicken and I am adding some sweet potatoes that I cooked and some beets and these snow peas. And I am also serving some rice to go with that and I like to garnish it with some fresh mints. I love making my food look beautiful and this mints I picked up from my backyard and I already washed it and placed it in this little vase. I am a Syrian Canadian so I love to include some Assyrian traditional food in my menu like this dekhwa, kebbe and dolma. I also made some quinoa salad and this one I am very known for it. All my family and friends love it so I always make it in my event. I shared it in a video. I will link that video in the description box below for you to see how I made it. So this is pretty much what I serve for dinners when I have people over and if I have a big group of people or big party I like to set a buffet on my island place all the food there and then everybody can serve themselves some people might think that I make too many appetizers so they are too full to finish their dinners but at the end of the night, I like to send my guests with any leftovers home. I picked up these containers from Costco. And to make it more fun, I like to write thank you note and stick it on the top of the container with this little pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed these ideas as much as I do. And I hope you will find them helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And I want to thank Lisa for co-hosting this collab with me and all the participants in advance for joining in i cannot wait to see all your videos don't forget to check out the playlist for more ideas and inspiration and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what part was your favorite and i will see you on my next one